Hello everyone, this is Qing Yu. It's a great honor to be here in Julia.com. So today we're going to learn how to use Julia in fractional order computing and modeling. We have already learned the classical calculus, the derivative and the integral. But when the order becomes a half or a quarter, how can we compute the fractional calculus? Well, here we can see a simple introduction. Suppose we have a function fx equals the kth power of x. We can easily get its first derivative and the second derivative, right? So here, and, and then we can extend to the nth power of the fx. So here we replace n with a half. We get the half derivative of fx very easy. So you may be wonder why fractional calculus? What is the point of fractional order modeling? Well, the fractional order computing and modeling can provide us with more details about our model. So the fractional order modeling and computing will only become more and more appealing. So here is the overview of the development of fractional calculus, the old history and the recent history. There are many science giants had worked in this topic since its first proposal. So, but why we are here? Well, currently there are little tools for the in, in the, with this topic, let's say to compute the fractional calculus or solving the different fractional differential equations. Also, we have a we have an awesome package differential equations to GL. We can make good use of the differential equations to GL and uh, help build a more comprehensive differential equations libraries covering all kinds of uh, differential equations. That, that is very exciting. Yeah, when we are searching for some tools to solve the model, we search over the internet and finally encounter some old and attested MATLAB, C++, or Fortran code. And that is, that is, let's say, exhausted, right? So we just want to make some standard and formal packages to help the researchers accelerate their research. Well, the most important one, yeah, we love Julie. So first, we can see the fractional calculus to GL. This is a package we can use to compute the fractional deriv derivative and the fractional integral. There are many things in, uh, in fractional calculus. Also, there are many things we support in fractional calculus to GL. Let's see here, we have Capital, Groundward, Net Groundward Letnikov, and uh, Riemann Liouville, and many more. So here is the detailed usage of uh, fractional calculus to GL. Let's say here, we just need to call the fractdiff and the fractint API and uh, pass in the function, the order, the point, and the step size. Then we choose an algorithm. That's all. Then we can get the fractional derivative and the fractional integral. Very intuitive, very, very intuitive. So here is the different order of uh, the given function. Here is the different order derivative of x, and here is the integral of sin x. These 
two paths are generated from fractional calculus to GL. So with the help of symbolic to GL and symbolic utils to GL, we implement a symbolic half-order fractional differentiation and integration. Although these features are still working in progress, I think these features can help researchers a lot. Yeah. So next we can next we came to the fractional dfq to GL. Here is the overview of all of the problem types in fractional dfq to GL. So later we can see each one of them. So the first we shall see the fractional ordinary differential equations. We can we can roughly divide the fractional ordinary differential equations into many types. So the first, we can see the single term FODE. Here is the general form of this problem. We construct our problem with single term FODE problem with this struct and passing the function, the order here, the initial condition and the time span. Like the example here, we define our problem and uh, choose a solver to solve the problem. And then we got the numerical solution here. So as for the multiple terms FODE, yeah, there are many fractional differential operators in the equation, like this. To solve this problem, it's very easy. Like here, we pass the. We can see the example here. We pass the parameters, like we did here, and the orders, the different orders, here, and the right functions and time span. Then we got our numerical solutions. So next, we can see the system of fractional differential equations. We can see the example here. It's very, sim it's very similar with differential equations of GL, right? Let's see here. We define our problem, choose a solver, and then we can get the phase portrait of this chaotic system. Wow, here, we here is the here is the fractional order chaotic systems. Very beautiful, right? Yeah. Oh, next we can see the fractional difficult GL is also capable of solving ordinary differential equations, especially for these high order ODEs. So here we got. So here we have a second order. ODE. Uh, the example here, we have a comparison with ordinary difficult GL and the fractional difficult GL. It's similar. We can define our problem like here. Define our problem and uh, choose a solver to solve our problem. Finally, we got our numerical solution. Next, we can see the fractional partial differential equations. The algorithms in fractional difficult GL focus on the diffusion and advection equations of fractional orders. And these solvers are still working in progress. We want to provide a more readable and efficient solvers for our users. So you can see next the fractional delay differential equations. The FDDE is the differential equations with fractional derivative and uh, delay with these general types. Let's see here, we can construct our problem with FDDE problem. We pass the function and the history function here and the order, the time lag and the time span. The example, like here, 
we define our problem, solve our problem, and problem and plot our numerical solution. Yeah, that's all. And also the fractional difficult GL also support FDDE with multiple and time varying legs. Like this is this is the multiple legs. You can define the multiple legs problem with inputting the different legs here. And here is the time varying legs. We need to we need to pass tall as a function. Let's see an example. And here here we pass the multiple legs as a array as an array and uh, construct our problem, solve our problem. And we got the face portrait and the plot here. Also, fractional difficult.jl is also capable of solving system of FDDE. It's, it's similar with, with what we have said before. It's similar with the differential equation.jl. We define our problem and solve our problem. So next, we can see the fractional difference equations. The usage is also very similar. We, we need to abstract our mathematical problem into a model Right here, we write our code and uh, define our problem. Then we can choose a solver to solve our problem. So next, we can see the fractal fractional differential equations. So first, we need to learn about fractal fractional derivative. So here is the fractional. So here is the fractal fractional derivative in riemann liouville sense. Let's see, the first is with power law kernel, and the second is with the exponential decay kernel, and the second is with metag leffler kernel. So, next, so then we can see how we can use fractional difficult GL to solve these kind of problems. Let's see here, we define our FFODE problem and they pass the function, the order, the initial condition, and time span. We need to note, like here, the, 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 the order alpha is the fractional order, and beta here is the fractal dimension. And the, to, to, to simulate this system, we use this code and uh, solve this problem, we got our numerical solution here. Yeah, this is for the time varying kind. Yeah, it's very easy. We define our problem here and solve our problem. So next, we can see the distributed order differential equations. The, here, the orders of differentiation and uh, integration is no integer, no fractions, but weight function of distribution of alpha. Let's see here. Here is the mathematical definition of the weight of the uh, of the distributed operators. Here, we can construct the problem using the DODE problem. Like what we have did, like, like what we have done with the multiple with multi-term FODE problem, they are very similar. We pass the parameters orders like here, and the interval, the right-hand function, the initial condition, and time span. Then we can get our then we can get our solutions. Fractional difficult.gl also built-in support for metag leffler functions with one, two, three parameters. Like here, we just need to input different 
parameters. And here the one, two, three. So let's see. Here is the different order plot. So finally, there are still a lot of works we need to do in the future, including uh, the design the design pattern is not so good. Also, the performance is still a big problem. And we can add more benchmarks with uh, the existing solvers. Also, there are also many more interesting ideas coming. So finally, we want to call for developers who are interested in differential equations and Julia to join us to build a comprehensive differential equation package together. Yeah, that's all. Thank you.